Because I know where the parties are. It's a good joke. You're missing out. <laughs> I have for you a very special attraction all the way from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and your friends at Shakara. Let me introduce our competitors. First, in the corner to my right, fighting out of his 1987 Cut the Supreme. Worldwide, it is week one of 
have coverage of the 16th annual Rumble, the 30 man over the top rock Rumble, comes your way in a couple of weeks. Trevor Lee will defend the Mid Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. It's a huge three week extravaganza from the 16th annual CWF Rumble here on CWF Worldwide. Tim, as I alluded to, you yourself from Excellent Pro, Vlad Radinov from Chikara, the proletariat for Chuck Taylor. We've got dignitaries from all over. Bruce Mitchell on the Pro Wrestling Torches here. We've got noted wrestling historians and documentarians in the audience. We've got everyone from all over the country that has converged on the Mid-Atlantic Floratorium for this huge night. We will bring you coverage over the next three weeks of the 16th Annual Rumble. With an event such as large as this, I am I'm not even surprised that it's going to take three weeks to cover such a momentous occasion as the 16th Annual Rumble. And invaders already. We've had special guests and, of course, 30 of the best. Cover here from Taylor only gets about one. 30 of the best from all over the country and the world will be part of that over-the-top rope rumble. But right now, you know, either of these men that hits a win, it establishes them in a new part of the country. Cover from Taylor only gets two. It raises their profile to have success outside of their home organization, to have a win on an event for eyeballs from all over are watching. We could, who knows, the promoters could be watching. We've got dignitaries representatives from all over. The winner of this match sets themselves up very well for future opportunities literally anywhere. Victory is the sweetest perfume, and nothing more than a competitor like Chuck Taylor or the board would like than to have a victory to move forward. Chuck Taylor over the cover. Two! Oh, oh, he got two! Says referee Robbie Walsh. If there's anybody that would fit in well at Chikara, it's Robbie Walsh. A character unto himself. But that's a conversation for another time. Chuck Taylor trying to maneuver the board. Hey, this guy's so big, so strong. Look at the legs on the proletariat board. He's got to be. That more center of gravity is good for Chuck Taylor, but this guy's got to be tough to maneuver really in any way, shape, or form. Where he is right now, down in a prone position, is where the Velvet Teddy Bear Sweet Chucky T needs to keep him down and in that prone position in the corner. Taylor. I'd be, oh, I'd be feeling rhythm here. Chuck Taylor looks to be five steps away from victory. He's singing his heart out while he's putting all that weight on the chest and the sternum and maybe even the throat. Uh oh, heads up in the corner. When our friends at Chikara Pro come down to visit, he has not been able to use really any of that power, that quickness, that this is a heck of an athlete, and really Chuck Taylor's had him on the ropes here. Oh, but look at this. For every two shots that Chuck Taylor's given, the boy is sending one. And four with one mighty blow may have just fallen Chuck Taylor. Oh, but no quick thinking on the part of GT. Velvet Teddy Bear! Very smart to go to that leg. The poor likes to use a version of the gore without it be able to get, gather any speed on that. It's definitely going to be tough. A lot of energy. Oh, dear. Caught him! Oh! Stuck him hard! The head and neck hit the canvas! The spine hit the turnbuckle! Chuck Taylor down and hurt! And the four may be about to go into war here at the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. Momentum is such a fickle thing. It only takes one piece of the puzzle to start the whole thing. And the four is rolling right now with success and clothes on and a big boot for good measure. Somebody asked the pretty ladies in the second row if they just caught Chuck Taylor's teeth when they went flying. Four. Damn it for the choke slam. Got him in a goozle. Uh, right back to that leg. Chucky T has wisely focused his attack. Through the ropes. Oh, backhanded it. Going for that German suplex. Or maybe too big and too strong. Or might be too strong. Oh, he got him by the 
Go for it again. That can't be legal. 